Hello everyone. How you guys been? Alright, let's see what we got for you right now. Man, we got an iconic car. A car that you are very familiar with, hopefully. Most around the world are very familiar with them because they've been everywhere. And it's a real cute car. It's one of those bread and butter Renaults that were ever made. You're looking at a 143 scale Renault 5. Now this is like the second generation Renault 5. They made a... Um, it's not the one they started with when they just came out. This is a Super Sync. It's a Super 5. It's called a Super 5. I was trying to uh, translate because I think it's in French. Because by the way, this car is made by Odeon. Odeon is a French brand. And they make some good quality cars. They don't make that many. It's not a brand that's super known. But they make quite a few of them. And I have a few of these cars. I have also a few other models they make. And they're very good quality and they're very good looking. And they're nice. They're really, really cute. Really well made. I like this two-tone color. What do you guys think about it? I really like that. Gives it a nice touch. And I like this. When when I looked at Odeon, they were one of the very few that made this. This is like the second generation Renault 5. And they made them on the four door. Actually, five door. Most of them on the second generation they made was the big one. The big five turbo, which I also have it. But uh, I like it when they keep it simple too. When they remember about the, the ones that were sold in the streets the most. That's the ones that bring people's memories. Because that's the one that you grew up with. Or you drove. Or these probably were your first car that you ever learned how to drive with. Cute little hubcaps. Like the ones in real life. Very well made. I love when they keep it simple and they keep it real. I love that. See the the the, um, the windshield wipers in the back, in the front. The antenna. Everything is where it's supposed to be. And is well made. Good quality detailed car. I like how detailed they are. Look at even the tail lights. They even show the reverse light right there. Which sometimes... Some of these brands, when they make the tail lights, they make them a little bland. Like they don't make it fully exactly the way it's supposed to be. So when they make detail cars like that, I gave them credit. I love it. Because it shows that they cared when they made these cars. They cared what to show us. Beautiful car. I'm, I'm admiring it as it goes around. I like seeing what a, you know. These cars come with like a little sticker pack that you could put the license plate on it. But it's not really a number. It just says Renault 5. So I like to keep it real. I like to keep it real. The way it is. I hate, I hate making, I like to have it. Oh, by the way, I see the speedometer and everything. Oh, it's cute. They make sure even the interior has the details that it's supposed to. Good job. Very well. Because even though it's a 143 scale. And it's not the biggest models out there for die cast. They still want to show some detail on it. Which I really like that. Because they're not so cheap. They're not cheap toys. And this is not a toy. This is a collectible. You don't play around with these. These are not the ones that you go when you were a little kid and you had those Hot Wheels that you crash around. These are expensive. <laughs> you crash one of these in a toy and then you chip the paint and you're going to suffer it. Now, you guys have remember, you have memories of these Renault 5s? You must have seen them around. They're everywhere. They used to be everywhere, I remember. Even in America, they didn't have this second generation, but they had the, the first generation. And they used to call the Renault Le Car. Which it was, uh, you know, when Renault was sold in America. And they had, um, they wanted to sell, they wanted to sell cars here too, but they were not super popular. 
so they came with different models. They came with the Renault Le Car. They came out with the Renault 18, the Renault 21. They sold, not in big quantities, but they sold. All right, guys. So I'm going to let it go around and you can have a nice look at this vehicle and enjoy it. All right, everyone. So, again, like I mentioned before, let me know your memories that you have with these nice, cute little Renault Fives. Do you still see them on the roads? Have you ever drove one of these? Man, I I wish I ever. I, I tell you, these little cars, simple little cars, I love them. I probably said it in other videos. I am. I have an eye for all types of cars because I appreciate them. You know, I compare them with other cars around their size. You know, you can't compare these with a with an Audi, with a Volvo, because they're not in the same category, or a Porsche. You have to admire comparing to other brands around the same size. So, do you guys collect the 143 scales? If you don't, what are you more into? Yeah, you know, it's always nice to hear other people's stories. I love to hear people's hobbies and what they collect and everything. So hopefully you're enjoying these videos. Please give me a nice thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Subscribe. I'm trying to post videos almost every day. Sometimes I may skip a day or two, but I'm trying to catch up. Because I have so many things to catch up on. But um, hopefully you're enjoying this. And you're enjoying the video that I'm doing right now. And like I said also when you subscribe. Click the bell next to the subscribe button. And that bell is to remind you when I'm posting more videos. Definitely. Alright guys so stay safe. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you on my next video. Alright. Goodbye.